The future of the internet is BrainNet. Uh, robots are getting smarter and smarter. This is going to affect everything. Already, we can record memories. Uh, I have a book, The Future of the Mind, yes. where I detail some of these breakthroughs. We can now record simple memories of mice and send these memories on the internet. Eventually, we're going to do this with primates. And then after that, we'll have a memory chip for Alzheimer's patients. We'll test it out in Alzheimer's patients because, of course, when Alzheimer's patients lose their memory, they wander. They create all sorts of havoc wandering around, oblivious to their surroundings, and they'll have a chip. They'll push the button and memories will come flooding into their hippocampus and the chip, telling them where they live and who they are. And so a memory chip is definitely in the cards. And I think this will eventually affect human civilization. What is the future of the internet? The future of the internet is BrainNet. BrainNet is when we send emotions feelings, sensations on the internet, and we will telepathically communicate with other humans this way. This is gonna affect everything. Look at entertainment. Remember the silent movies? Charlie Chaplin was very famous during the era of silent movies, but when the talkies came in, nobody wanted to see Charlie Chaplin anymore because he never talked in the movies. And so a whole generation of actors lost their job and a new series of actors came in. Next, we're gonna have the movies replaced by BrainNet because in the future, people will say, who wants to see a screen with images? That's it, sound and image, that's called the movies. Yeah, our entertainment industry, this multi-billion dollar industry is based on screens with moving images and sound. But what happens when emotions, feelings, sensations, memories can be conveyed on the internet? It's gonna change everything. Human relations will change because you'll be able to empathize and feel the suffering of other people. We'll be able to t communicate telepathically. And we are eventually going to become part cybernetic and genetically enhanced. Already, uh, robots are getting smarter and smarter. Uh, right now, robots have the intelligence of a cockroach. But in the coming years, our robots will be as smart as a mouse then maybe as smart as a rabbit. If we're lucky, maybe as smart as a cat or a dog. And by the end of the century, who knows for sure, our robots will be probably as smart as a monkey. Now at that point, of course, they could be dangerous. You see, monkeys are self-aware. They know they are monkeys. They may have a different agenda than us. While dogs, dogs are confused. You see, dogs think that we are a dog that we're the top dog. They're the underdog. That's why they whimper and follow us and lick us all the time. We're the top dog. Monkeys have no illusion at all. They know we are not monkeys. And so I think that in the future, we'll have to put a chip in their brain to shut them off once our robots have murderous thoughts. But that's in 100 years. In 200 years, the robots will be smart enough to remove that fail-safe chip in their brain and then watch out. At that point, I think rather than compete with our robots, we should merge with them. We should become part cybernetic.